little update video tonight and this is an update on the Oni 689 Karuki 2 um, black denim both black um, warp and weft so double black denim uh, this is a 12 ounce weight um, I've been wearing these since the beginning of our first lockdown this has been my work from home outfit um, I had bought them to go into the office but that's not happening for most of us so um, they've had plenty of wear I didn't do a six month update so I thought I'd probably do one now um, they're coming on wonderfully uh, they're a nice slim silhouette with a nice taper to the cuff um, and I'm really really pleased um, so Oni if you haven't met that brand before it's all about the material um, I featured the uh, 902ZRs before and we'll get on to a, a little bit of a comparison between the two but they're all about that uh, artisan um, loom woven uh, selvage denim and legend has it my understanding is that there's a single elderly gentleman who creates all their fabrics so relatively limited runs and uh, something a little bit special um, one of the real features of Oni is the uh, low tension uh, slubby material which has got that sort of huge variation in um, in thread thickness which gives some really interesting fades and a really really nice soft fabric um, so before we get into the jeans um, I just thought I'd give an honourable mention to uh, Adams of Yorkshire who provided a belt uh, a few months ago for me to, to wear and I've been wearing this uh, extensively with these jeans really nice pairing um, Adams of Yorkshire just started out they operate or Adam uh, or Mr. Adam, I guess it is, uh, operates uh, on DMs through Instagram. So if you want something from him, check out his Instagram. I'll put a link below. Um, but this belt's really, really nice and a very good start from a, a young maker. So with the belt here, it's got a quick release all brass buckle. It's got a full grain uh, cowhide belt with really, really nice burnishing on it. Very simple and robust uh, stitched construction with just a little yellow stitch there. If you like Doc Martens, that's a really nice colourway uh, pairing. And interestingly, on the back here is marked up Proto One. So he's been kind enough to sh send me one of his first uh, belts. And you know, if this is a sign of things to come, uh, I think he's going to do very well. So be please do check him out. Uh, I'll put a link below to his Instagram. Uh, but thank you, Adams Yorkshire, for providing a belt for me to uh, wear my jeans and. Uh, I hope you do well in the future. So, as I say, we've had some Onis before on the channel. Um, one thing I learnt with the Onis last time was how much stretch there can be in this fabric. Um, these are the uh, 902ZRs, as I said, this is the 20 ounce secret denim, uh, so a little bit heavier, or quite a bit heavier than the, uh, the 689s here. But I got these in a uh, 30, what did I get this in waist? I got this as a 33 tag and uh, I did find that they stretched out a little bit too much to make them that perfect fit so I could go snugger. Um, these are a 32 tag. Um, they measured up on the day of purchase, they measured up at 33 inches as a real measurement on the waist. Having experienced only in the past, I was fairly comfortable that we get some good stretch in there and it stretched out about an inch and a half so it's 34 and a half uh, after a bit of wear and that is really my my preferred uh, waist measurement and that's one of the little secrets with selvage denim is getting that right isn't it um, so these are a, a good taper so these go down to a six and three quarter inch cuff so that's pretty much pretty much as far as I like taper um, and interestingly these do come with a very very short leg uh, by Western standards so these measure up at a 31 and a half inch leg uh, I think on the sizing guides of on Denimo where I bought these uh, link below to that as well uh, where I bought these on Denimo I think they were saying at a 32 inch leg but they're a little bit shorter than that so for me um, I'm not cuffing them but that works just fine I didn't really want to cuff these I knew with that leg measurement it would come in just about right for me um, so really, really nice. So I think what we'll get into is some close-ups and we'll look at how this denim is fading. So I thought probably the most useful thing to do was to start off with a comparison between the two denims here. Obviously the indigo is their 20 ounce secret denim and the black is their double black uh, Karuki 12 ounce. 
Um, both have very, very similar properties. They've got the slubby texture, low tension weave, and they're just super, super breathable, very, very stretchy. So do be careful on, on waist measurements so they will stretch out, um, which is a great thing, but do, do expect it. As I say on these, slightly more stretch than I'd anticipated. Really, really comfortable. Um, they get that sort of sweat pant jogging bottoms at a comfort really, really quickly. Um, you'll see with both these, the fades are gentle, they're not sharp. And I think that comes with a, as a property of the denim itself. So it's not starchy. It is very, very soft, low tension. So I think that comes with the territory. But what you do get is this wonderful sort of dots and dashes, sort of Morse code fading. Um, up and down the the length of the denim and I think that's really one of the strengths of the Oni uh, product if that's your thing if you want the pin sharp fades uh, there are of course other brands the more conventional starchy denims give you that sharper fade but beautiful fading I think on these Onis and a really really good fabric so looking at the details on the 689s here you can see the the grey fade setting in wherever there's rubbing from the belt around the edges of the pockets and the whiskers just starting to form uh, quite nicely defined but as I say quite soft certainly quite a lot of fading around the, uh, the crotch here and other people have commented that uh, only denims are prone to blowing out I think but I've, I've not had any problems um, the main problem I've had with this black denim is um, it's a little bit harder to live with, so if you're not going to wash your denim frequently, and I think that's uh, what we're all about, um, you are going to find that it's not forgiving if you get a puddle splash or a, a spill on them, but so do expect to wash them a little bit more frequently unless you're a super careful person, but I'm not, so I've been washing these probably every, every three months or so. Um, button fly, little fades popping up around the edge there. No real sort of silhouettes of the buttons coming through, but coming on nicely. Nice sort of donut buttons, a little bit of wear on the side there, which is a nice little feature. Only a label in the back. Say whiskers forming, nice dots and dashes forming down the thighs. Not too much going at going on at the, the knees. Um, because of the shorter leg length, there's not really any stacking to note at the cuff. A little bit of roping at the bottom there, where it's rubbed on my boots. And obviously the nice yellow salvage detail there. Moving on to the seat. Um, this is the first place you'll start to see fades generated on any uh, denim. And uh, that's always a good sign of things to come. So obviously on the back seam here, on the rise, you've got the sort of the, the highlights just around the, the stitching on the backs of the pockets. Those areas grade really quickly. The nice black uh, arcs there, which will pit, pick out over time, and that will become a strong contrast because that, that stitching isn't going to fade, but the, the denim around them will. Really, really nice. Um, soft goat skin uh, patch on the back there a little bit sad to see that the the print's gone on that i do like to have as many details visible on my jeans that's just how i am but we've lost really uh, any uh, definition of the print on there moving down there's some nice honeycombs starting to form at the the backs of the knees there again very very gentle interestingly on the insides, um, because of the way it's woven, the, the fades on those honeycombs are much more defined on the inside. And then finally, down to the cuffs, again, as with the front, no, sna no stacking of note and uh, a little bit of roping. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. As I've said before, I really, really like Oni. Their fabric's absolutely fantastic. I like their sort of their artisan background, their low volume production um, numbers. I just think it's a really, really nice brand. And certainly if you're on your uh, raw denim uh, journey or Japanese salvage denim journey, um, they're certainly a brand to check out. I've been very pleased with them. 
and uh, yeah, they seem to make really great denim. Um, if you haven't checked out before, please follow my link below to Denimo. Um, they have a brilliant range of uh, Japanese denims and brands. Uh, it's certainly a great place to start your denim journey. Um, thanks once again to Adams of Yorkshire. Really, really nice belt. Thank you for sending that through. Um, I expect great things, so I'll be watching your Instagram. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Obviously, a bit of uh, Japanese denim on there, uh, quality footwear, a bit of everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Cycling, running, a bit of guitar. Do check it out, it might share some other common interests. If you thought this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you've had any experience with uh, Oni denim in the past, if you've had these or the 902s or anything else, share your thoughts. Um, tell me how you found their longevity, whether they have been uh, hard wearing, how they faded. Uh, I'd like to know. Um, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.